So anyhow, uh, I mean, overall the week was good. It was just the things that, you know, I notice, I witness, you know, every day. You know, I deal with the public. I work on a street corner of a busy road, and, you know, the town that I work in, I grew up in, I've seen it, I've seen all stages of it, and, uh, you know, it's just the... You know, I like to stay in a routine, you know what I mean? And I feel like in the town that I live in, there's always so many changes. And there's always so many uh, different nationalities, you know, moving in. And, um, you know, which I don't have a problem with, you know. Uh, if you're cool with me, I'm cool with you. And if you're not cool with me and I see something that you do that's disrespectful, then I just won't even have any part of, of you, you know? And, um, I'm not saying I've always been a saint, but... Um, But it is, it's kind of scary, you know, see things unfold and, you know, you sit there and have to ask yourself, is this going to be, you know, the future, you know, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, there's also the other things that I see. I see car accidents all the time. I saw a car accident <clears throat> last Wednesday. And at the beginning of our driveway is the beginning of a lane to a freeway 217 and, or a highway 217. And um, uh, a lady thought as soon as the guy turned on the right blinker that he was turning into my work. And she pulled out and ended up T-boning him. And... Um, but I mean, there are, there were, there was a couple cars be, behind him, so she pulled out to beat them, so she didn't have to wait. And uh, just ended up t-boning him, and you know, like he got out of the car and asked her, "What could you be possibly thinking?" And she tried to answer it, you know. And he totally just cut her off what she was saying. And, you know, there's just other ways of going about, about things, you know. I mean, yeah, I can see how getting in a car accident can be irritating. But, you know, that's the one thing. You just don't want to explode on somebody. And, uh... But, you know, it was a female, you know, and the guy's getting out, yelling at her, dodging at, you know, dodging her, getting, you know, just being all pissed off and stuff, and, you know, she kind of hesitated, got back in her car, because it looked like he was going to do something, and, uh, you know, kind of threw it out there and said, you know, why don't you just, you know, talk like an normal human being, you know, it was an accident, you know, it wasn't like she threw herself out on purpose and, you know, ran after you, <laughs> but there's that, and 
and then um, like I was saying I want to touch on is uh, my friend Darlena is going through a bit of a depression she's had a, a rough year and um, I tried to talk to her the other day and uh, I, she asked me a question that I stated, you know, what's your deepest fear? And she says, there is no fear allowed in my house. I don't live in fear. And I said, everybody has a fear. And she didn't respond. And so, you know, I didn't mean to be disrespectful it's just one of my questions I have to ask you know um, depression can be uh, triggered in through anxiety you know a lot's going on in your life and um, I know that because I go through it. I've had, I've had a pretty rough life, and you know. But somebody helped me through that when I, when I was a little bit younger, and you know, the only thing I could do is hand off the advice. And uh, you know, and this piece isn't just for. You know things that go on every day but this piece is also kind of something that I'm working for towards is uh, I have a trust issue with working under some company the company that I work for um, you know I swear God makes a living off of disappointing people, letting people down, you know, when they work hard, and like the other day, an employee of mine has been with them for a long time, just like I have, and, you know, he asked for a raise, and my boss said, well, you gotta do it, you gotta do a good job to get a raise, and he goes, well, I did a good job for four years and haven't got I didn't get a raise. And so so he goes, I figured if you're not gonna give me raises when I'm doing good, maybe I just don't do good. Then I don't have to worry about the raises. And um you know that's he's more opinionated and uh and more straightforward than I am about with that stuff, so. But it's the truth. <laughs> I mean, this is what I really want to do, is work with my gallery and, um, do things that are equivalent to my art. You know, this is what I love doing and happy with doing. I also love doing photography. I love to travel. But 
yeah, the company I work for sucks. I mean, never work work for someone who has an ultimate excuse for everything that has to do with money. People asking for raises and our boss telling us, well, men wages went up. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? I'm sorry for the English, but <laughs> it's the truth. You know, that's when I, I mean, I stepped in that time and said, I don't work for a state of Oregon. I work for you. I do a good job every day because I want you to